History meets innovation. The call that changed the world. Every day, over six billion phone calls are made. But have you ever wondered who made the first one? This is the story of the call that changed the world. A street corner in New York, a device the size of a brick, and a rivalry that would define the future. But the mobile phone didn't start with a call. It started with an idea and a dream. Martin Cooper was born in 1928, the son of Ukrainian immigrants growing up in the windy city of Chicago. Even as a child, his curiosity was electric. He took radios apart just to see how they worked. After serving in the Navy during the Korean War, Cooper earned his degree in electrical engineering. In the 1950s, he joined a young tech company called Motorola, a place filled with possibilities and the hum of invention. Back then, phones were tied to the wall, heavy, unmoving, controlled. But Martin Cooper, he believed communication should be free. It should move with you across the country Another tech giant was racing to the future, Bell Labs. Led by Joel Engel, they had government funding, massive infrastructure, and a plan to dominate wireless communication. Motorola, they were the underdog, smaller, scrappier, hungrier. Cooper knew if Bell got there first, the future of mobile would be locked in cars, tethered, limited. So he made a bold decision. Motorola would leapfrog the network and build the impossible. A phone you could hold in your hand. April 3rd, 1973, a bright morning in Manhattan. Martin Cooper steps onto the sidewalk, holding a strange bulky device. 2.5 pounds of circuits and vision, the Motorola Dynatac. He dials, not a reporter, not his boss. He calls, Joel Engel, his rival at Bell Labs, and says, Joel, I'm calling you from a cell phone, a real handheld mobile phone. That call didn't just work, it made history. It would take another 10 years to reach the public. In 1983, Motorola released the Dynatac 8000X, it cost almost $4,000, took 10 hours to charge, and gave you 30 minutes of talk time. And yet, people rushed to buy it. Because they weren't just buying convenience, they were buying the future. From that one brick-sized phone came a revolution. Flip phones, Blackberries, iPhones, texting, internet, apps, social media, the mobile phone changed not just how we talk, but how we live, work, date, learn, protest. And would you believe Martin Cooper got the idea from Star Trek? He once said, he watched Captain Kirk flip open his communicator and thought, why not? Martin Cooper is now in his 90s, and he still believes that mobile technology can change the world for the better. The mobile phone didn't just shrink the world, it gave everyone a voice. And it all began with one man, one idea, and one unforgettable call. If you love uncovering the stories behind the inventions that changed our world, hit that subscribe button. This is History Meets Innovation.